Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you two different ways you can conduct surveys inside Microsoft Teams. The conventional way and the better way. So if I want to conduct the survey using traditional methods, first I'm going to have to add everyone to a little Teams chat. This is my team. So I'll let them know that I'm about to conduct a little survey. I'm clicking the ellipses button and selecting polls. Let me type in my question. So I have one up the ready. I'll just paste it and I'll just say at all. And let's take out extremely satisfied. So now we have a little survey with four options. And here I can either select to share the aggregated result with respondents or not. Let's look at a little preview. This is what it's going to look like. I'm going to press send. And there you go. It is in the chat. So that's how easy it is to conduct a small survey using the polls feature. That wasn't a survey. That was a poll. Jack isn't wrong. While polls are great to get opinions in small scale environments, surveys are an entirely different ballgame. So let me show you how you can conduct real deal, no nonsense surveys inside Microsoft Teams. To do that, I'm going to take advantage of the best performance management solution for Microsoft Teams, TeamFlect. Hold on, let's rewind here. If you don't know what TeamFlect is or where to find it, TeamFlect is an app for Microsoft Teams. To find it, all you need to do is go to Apps, search for TeamFlect, and once you find it, click on it, and then press Download. Let's go into the Surveys module. See how neatly everything is laid out? You don't even need me to teach you how to do this. You could just grab this and go. But for the sake of it, let's make this an employee satisfaction survey. And I'm going to pick out a template. I'm going to pick the satisfaction survey, but see how many different templates they have ready to go? And you can customize them any way you want. Let's pick out the respondents, Adele, Alex. Let's add Grady in there as well. If I have a note, I'll send it. See, no awkward random group chat appearing out of nowhere. And I sent it out. And once I do that, my survey is right here. It's live. It's going on. And I can click here to see if they've answered or not. And they haven't. So I can send the reminder. Now let's take a look at the other side and see what it looks like to be answering these surveys. With a little magic, I am in Adele's account now. And this is the survey we just sent to her. Let's click complete survey and look at this. It took less time to send this out than it took to create that one question poll. So we have a free form question here, a multiple choice here. And we have a rating question right here. And let's agree. And look, I have a ranking question right here where I can drag these up. Yes, management style third, sure. And once we're done, I'll just click submit. See, this is much better. And that brings us to the end of this video. What did you think? What else do you want to learn about Microsoft Teams? Or do you simply want to see more of Jack the Dog? I wouldn't blame you. Whatever the answer is, just let me know in the comments. Guys, we release helpful Microsoft Teams content like this one every single week. Subscribe so you don't miss any of it. And if you want to schedule a free demo with TeamFlect, you can always click the link in the description. Bye-bye.